had rumble in the jungle. Let's head to the jungle now, right now and see who we can meet as the day is beginning in the tropical rainforest. Experts 
estimate that we are losing 137 plant, animal, and insect species every single day because of the rainforest being cut down. Did you know? About 2,000 trees per minute are cut down in the rain. Did you know? The rainforest was once covered 14% of the earth, but now only 7% of the earth's surface is covered with rainforest. That means that half of the earth's rainforest are gone. Did you know? If something isn't done soon, experts think that rainforest will be gone in 50 years. Now that's a fact! <laughs> Beep. 
usually they eat insects. See, kikis live in the canopy of the rainforest. Hey, keeps their babies in other birds' nests. Oh, often they lay their eggs in other nests. Oh, often they have a long tail and short legs. As sizes of the cuckoos, cuckoo birds are 11 to 14 inches long. Cuckoos by Ariana Vaughn. J. Jaguars are wild cats. A. About four to six feet long. G. Good swimmers. U. Usually very prey. A. Army eaters. R. Swim song first. Jaguar by Stuart Owen. Second. Poisonous. Australia. Uh, in South America, 
are razor sharp teeth, A. Are carnivores, N. Not plant eaters, A. Have eggs, A. Are most active during the day, for finding sunlight. Anaconda sm kind of smells with its tongue and needs no food for a long time. A anaconda kind of gives birth to live young. C constricts or squeezes the prey in until it can no longer breathe. Oh, of all the anacondas ever measured, the longest was 37 and a half feet. And Nostrils are on the top of the snout. D. Don't chew their food. A. Anaconda is the biggest snake in the world. Anaconda by Gabe Mean. Capricorn is first to be killed at everyone in right. Not only does this destroy the forest, but it affects all of the animals and plants that call the forest home. See how some animals help a man change his mind about cutting down the rainforest to their plant, the great key pop tree. They storm a book by Linda Sherry. Chop down this great apple tree. 
The jaguar had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of a tree. Because his spotted coat blended into the dappled light of the shadows of the understory, no one had noticed it. Now he leapt down patently, silently over to the sleeping man, he growled in his ear. Senor, this cave up tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? <laughs> Two tree porcupines swung down from branch to branch and was in the spring to the man. Senor, do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And Senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you will destroy that gives us with us all life. And in theater, cut down from the Rob the K-pop tree with her baby turned it to the back. That all the treasure and eaters said to the sleeping man. Senor, you are chopping down this tree with no thought for the future. And surely you know what happens tomorrow depends upon what you do today. The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his own children who tomorrow must live in a world without trees. A three told sloth had been climbing down from the tree tree when the man first appeared. Only now the tree reached the ground. Running ever so slowly over to the sleeping man, she spoke in her deep and lazy voice. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you look without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, then what would you feast your eyes? The child from the yellow lobby tried to live the very forest, fell over and began to burn his ear. Senor, when you awake, he's the cooler of all new eyes. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child, they were all around him staring at the creature who had come upon the great tree top tree. What wondrous clear animals they were. The man looked about and the man looked about and and saw the sun jeweled in mist the dark green forest. Strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air. Suspended from the great tree top tree, the man smelled the fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor. But he heard no sound, for the creatures were strange and silent. The man stood and picked up his axe. He swung back as he swung back his arm as though to strike the tree. Suddenly he stopped. He turned and looked at the animals and the child. He hesitated. Then he dropped the axe and walked out of the rainforest. <laughs>
with you, even as the day comes to an end in the rainforest. It remains a busy and exciting place. Our class will now end our program, the conclusion to the rubble in the jungle poem.